Today we're going to start section 3.4, which is on solving systems of linear equations and three variables. And that's what our goal is. We're going to solve systems with more than two variables now. We're going to look at three variables. So just like we did in section 3.1 and 3.2, um, we're going to use elimination, we're going to use substitution to solve systems of equations. And a system of three equations is just now going to have three variables, x, y, and z or we could have any variables that we really want. But, and the solution to a system of equations is just going to be an ordered triple that satisfies each of the equations. Okay, so you plug in the ordered pair, it's true, it's a solution. You plug in the ordered pair and it's not true for every equation in the system, it's not a solution. And we're going to use either the elimination method or the substitution method but most, most often we're going to use elimination method, and here's what we have to do. Now, our goal is to eliminate one of these variables more than one time. So we're going to use two different equations, and so we're going to set it up twice to eliminate the same variable. If we do that, <clears throat> then we'll have a problem that looks exactly like what we did in section 7.2. So we're going to start in example one, and we're going to use the elimination method. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to eliminate the variable x. So if I look at the x's on these two, I notice I just have to multiply the top equation by negative 3. So we're going to do that, multiply the top one by negative 3. So that gives us negative 6x plus 3y minus 18z equals 12. And then I'm just going to rewrite the other one down, because that's going to give me what I need to cancel the x's out. So we add them up. x's are gone. We get 7y minus 23z equals 5. So now we have to use the bottom one and then either of those other two equations. Well, I'm going to use the top one. So we're going to use those two. And if we notice that, to get rid of the x's again, I'm going to have to multiply the top one by 2. So we're going to write this one down, multiply it by 2. So that's going to be 4x minus 2y plus 12z equals negative 8. And then we're just going to rewrite this one down, because that's what's going to help us get rid of the x. So we add them up, x's cancel out, we have negative 4y plus 17z equals 1. Oops, I forgot to... Alright, so now we have y's and z's on both of these equations. So we look at this one, we look at this one, we get a y and a z in both of them. So our goal is now to eliminate one of those. Well, the easier one's obviously going to be y, so we want to multiply this equation by 4, because that's going to help us get rid of the y. So this is going to be 28y minus, and we have 23 times 4, so that's going to give us 92, so it's a negative 92z equals 20. And we're going to take this one equation and we're going to multiply it by 7. That's going to give us a negative 28y. We have 17 times 7, which gives us 119 equals 7. And we add them up. So you have negative 92 plus our 117. gives us 25z, and that equals 27, and we solve it. I wrote this bad, that's a 119, so that gives us a 27z. So now we solve it, and we get z equals 1. 
So once you get one of your solutions now, what we're going to do is we're going to plug it back in. So you're going to take this and plug it into one of these equations. Either one, doesn't matter. Put it in for z. So I'm going to take it and put it in negative 4y plus 17 times 1 equals 1. Get negative 4y plus 17 equals 1. So negative 4y equals negative 16. And so y equals 4. Then you're going to take both the z and the y and plug it into one of your original problems. So let's take it and put it in the top one. So we're going to get 2 times x minus 4 plus 6 times 1 equals negative 4. So this is 2z minus 4 plus 6 equals negative 4. So we get 2z equals negative 6 and z equals negative 3. So then we have all three of our numbers. Oh, these are x's. So x equals negative 3, y equals 4, and z equals 1. So our ordered triple is negative 3, 4, 1. Then in example 2, we're going to solve a system of three variables that have no solution. And again, the same thing is true. If your variables disappear and you get something that's not true at the end, then there's no solution. Well, the easiest way to look at this is to see, are there two equations here or if I put them together right away, I'll be able to do that. So let's take the top one and the bottom one and let's multiply the top one by negative 3. We're going to cancel the x's out. So this is going to be negative 3x minus 3y plus 3z equals negative 6. And then I'm just going to rewrite the second one, 3x plus 3y minus 3z equals 8. And notice here, these all cancel out, so I'm left with 0 equals 2. So you get to that. Obviously, that's not true, so it's no solution. Okay. That may not happen in the first step. It may happen in the second step. But anytime your variables disappear and you get a not true statement, it's no solution. If we would get our variables disappear and it is a true solution, then that's going to be just like example three where there are many solutions. So let's look at that problem. So in this case, um, I'm going to eliminate the z's because I see a negative z there and the other ones are positive. So I'm going to have x plus y plus z equals 3. x plus y minus z equals 3. I didn't have to multiply either of those by anything. So I'm going to get 2x plus 2y equals 6. So now I'm going to use the bottom two. And again, it doesn't matter which ones you use as long as you use all three of them. So we're going to have... In the bottom one, I'm going to have to multiply this by, again, we have to get rid of the z, so by nothing. x plus y minus z equals 3, and then 2x plus 2y plus z equals 6. That's just this one. And so we add them up, we get 3x plus 3y equals 9. So now I have x's and y's in both of them. So what we're going to have to do here is eliminate one. So we want to get rid of, let's say we get rid of the x's. So if I get and get rid of the x here and the x here, I want to get one of them to 6 and one of them to negative 6. So if I multiply this one by negative 3, it's going to give us negative 6x minus 6y equals negative 18. Multiply this one then by 2, so that's going to give us 6x plus 6y equals 18. And they all cancel, so we end up with 0 equals 0. So if that is the case, then we have infinitely many solutions. Or we can just say many solutions here.
All right, so we looked at a couple of solving a couple of these using three variables. So I want you to go ahead and try the guided practice questions one, two, and three. You can pause the video and hit play when you're ready to move on. And here are the answers to your guided practice questions. Uh, we didn't do number three because that's the exact same problem as the one we just did up above. So, so your order triple for number one is one, three, negative two. And for number two, there is no solution to that problem. Now, the main reason that we're going to look at problems like this is so that we can solve word problems. And so in example four, it says a carryout pizza restaurant had an order of three slices of pizza, four breadsticks, and two ju juice drinks, cost $13.35. Second order of five pieces of pizza, two breadsticks, and three juice, juice drinks, cost $19.50. If four breadsticks and a juice cost 30 cents more than a slice of pizza, what is the cost of each item? So what we're going to do is write the three equations. So first, it says three pieces of pizza, and I'm going to use P for pizza, four breadsticks, I'm going to use B for breadsticks, and two juice drinks, so I'm going to use a J for juice equals $13.35. There's our first equation. The second one, second order of, of five slices of pizza, and two breadsticks and three juices was 19.50. Now it says if four breadsticks and a juice cost 30 cents more than a slice of pizza, so we're going to say that pizza plus 30 cents, what is the cost of each item? So there is or there are the three equations that we have. Now, I want to use or, uh, elimination actually on this. So what I'm going to do is I want to put them all in the same form. So I'm going to take this P and I'm going to subtract it to the other side. And so now I have three equations in the same form. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use elimination and I'm going to take these these two equations and I'm going to rewrite the first one and I'm going to solve for P or e actually eliminate P and so to do that I'm going to multiply by 3 so we're going to get negative 3P plus 12B plus 3J equals 90 cents. And we add them up. So we're going to get 16B plus 5J equals 14.25. So now I have two equations, or I have one equation with a B and a J. And so now I have to eliminate P from my other problem. So we're going to take the middle equation. And we're going to rewrite it. And now we're going to use the bottom one. And we're going to multiply this this time by 5, because we want to eliminate, again, the p. So negative 5p plus 20b plus 5j is going to equal $1.50. And we add them up. Okay, 22b's and 8j's. And 21. So now it's going to be easiest for us to get rid of the J because those are the smaller numbers. So we're going to take this equation and multiply it by 8. 
So if I multiply that by 8, we're going to get 128B plus 40J equals 114. And we're going to take this one and we're going to multiply it by negative 5. So if we do that, we're going to get negative 110B minus the 40J equals negative 105. We have 18B equals 9, which means B is 0.5, or 1 half. But then we plug them back. So let's put it into here. So half of 22 is 11. So we're going to have 11 plus 8J equals 21. So that means 8J is going to be 10. And if we divide that, the J is $1.25. So here's your J. There's the B. Plug them back into one of the original equations. So let's go to the bottom one. So we're going to have negative P plus $1.25 times 4. Or wait, no, 50 cents times 4 if we plug it in. That's going to give us 2. A dollar twenty-five equals point three. So that means negative P plus two twenty-five equals point three. We plug that into the bottom equation. So we're gonna get negative P equals negative 295, which means P equals 2.95. So then the answer to that question, again, this is a word problem, you have to write it out in a complete sentence, is so a breadstick would cost 50 cents, a piece of pizza would cost $2.95, and a juice would cost $1.25. Now, these problems are going to take a little bit of time, but just treat it as one step at a time. So in section 3.4, we're solving the system of equations with three variables. Our goal is to eliminate the same variable twice using two, to two of the different equations. So then once we get down to that, we have problems exactly like we did in section 7.2. And then we have to solve those using elimination, or you can use substitution as well. And then once you get those, th then you plug it back in as we go along. So here is your homework assignment. It's on page 182. Uh, there are questions um, 38 and 40. If you're interested in doing those, you can do those for extra credit, and you'll just have to turn those in to me. So here is your assignment for section 3.4 which is on solving systems of linear equations in three variables.